Research Behind D.A.R.E. by Samantha Newman. Hi, my name is Samantha Newman. Today I'm going to tell you a bit about a program that goes by the name of D.A.R.E. D.A.R.E. is the abbreviation for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Throughout this presentation, you will see why I chose this issue for my research essay, the progress behind it, and the results that came out of it. I hope you enjoy. To begin, I chose this essay to find out if the D.A.R.E. program is actually benefiting the youth that is being taught to or not. I came about this topic after talking with my neighbor's son, who was recently just taught about the program D.A.R.E. As he was talking to me about what he is learning, he was telling me that he thinks the program is kind of pointless, which sparked my interest as to why. Kids are being taught about a program that may actually be doing more harm than they think because it seems to me that it's sparking their interest rather than it's not. It's important to me to research it because if that's the case, then something should be done and possibly another program should be put into its place. Writing this research essay, I noticed that I had some strengths and weaknesses. To begin with a weakness, I noticed that it was hard for myself to see both sides of the story. As I was more on the side of D.A.R.E. being more harmful than not, I still researched why it was a program that did benefit children. With myself disagreeing with it being beneficial, it was hard for myself to put in a written format as to why it's beneficial. A strength that I had while writing this essay was being able to do my research. One of my favorite essays to write are research essays. The reason being is I love to research anything, so being able to research something that I have a passion and put it in a written format really allowed me to express what I was learning. Having to write about a topic that I have experienced and someone I know is currently experiencing allows me to have more of a connection to this topic and a passion to write about it. Finishing up the research, the results that I came to is that the D.A.R.E. program is becoming no longer a thing because teachers and administrators are not allowing it to be part of their school's curriculum as they feel as if the program isn't necessarily working for their students and it's not age appropriate. With this happening, it's resulting in D.A.R.E. losing its revenue and struggling to stay alive. Another result that I got out of researching this issue is that D.A.R.E. is actually leading to drug abuse by seeing a 3-5% to higher drug rate in the students that took the program as to students who did not. Lastly, I included a quote that I got from researching on a teen website that stated, They're actively judging and interpreting what you say and comparing it to their own desires. This quote really provoked my thought process because it was talking about how teens are in their prime time of active listening. When researching this topic, I never really thought about this, and I thought it made a lot of sense when I really thought about it. Teenagers are only listening to what they want to hear, and they do this by interpreting the information given to their own thoughts. I think this information is very valuable, especially to programs such as D.A.R.E. They should be considering this at all times when they're choosing their audience. This research assignment has helped myself learn more about workplace communication in the sense that it's very important to research facts and information before you assume or make accusations. This is extremely important in workplace communication because if someone or myself is giving out false information that they believe is right, it could cause harm not only in workplace relationships, but for the business as well. So it's important that everything is fact-checked so no miscommunication or false information is given out. Another aspect that I learned that is key for workplace communication is to be thorough in what is being said or what I'm about to say so that the point is clear and again, no miscommunication happens. Finally, it's important to make sure that I or others have the points to back up their statements. If statements are being thrown out in a workplace environment, other employees or employers are more likely going to question it or have general questions, so it's important that the speaker has knowledge and points to back up what they are saying. To conclude, throughout this research essay, I have come to see that the program DARE, Drug Abuse Resistance Education, is more likely to do harm on the youth it's being taught to rather than helping prevent the issue of drug abuse. It has been proven to create curiosity in the young, impressionable minds it's being taught to and is creating a higher drug rate. The teenagers that are being taught this program are in the stage of active listening, so it's more likely not age-appropriate for D.A.R.E.'s chosen demographic. I personally feel that a new program should be put into place or a revamped D.A.R.E. program that is more age-appropriate and doesn't create curiosity. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and learned something new about this topic. 
The next slide is my bibliography with two sites that have very interesting information on the program DARE. If you are curious on more about this topic, I highly suggest these websites. Thank you for listening.